Hello, today we are going to discuss about big data. So, what is this big data? So, big data is basically a data which is beyond so storage capacity and processing. So, this big data is beyond storage capacity and processing. So, as this data is beyond the storage capacity as well as processing, so we call it as that this is big data. So, as we are living in age of data, so we are generating data from sensors, we are generating data from airlines, online shopping, cameras, etc. That means on a daily basis, we are generating a huge amount of data. Now, what we require, we require to save that data and also we require to process that data. That means if we compare as per the 100% of the data generated, the most data generated from the recent two years because number of people or number of users are accessing the data services like they are capturing images, videos, videos, data. So that means as per the ever increasing user demand. So if I make a graph that this is my ever increasing users. So as per the users are increasing on the internet access, that means on a regular basis, they are capturing the data services. They are using the data. That means they need more storage. And fast processing. So ever increasing demand of the users, ever increasing demand of storage and capacity so from the last two years that 90 percent of the data is from the least recent two years with the ever increasing number of users now we have mainly two questions with this first question is how to store such huge amount of data? First concept. Next, that how to process such data within specific time so we have two equation arises from this big data concept first that how do we store such huge amount of data so that means it directly related to the storage capacity and next thing is how to process such data in specific time that means processing. So that's why big data concept is basically the huge amount of data storage and processing within specific time. So we call it as fast processing. Now as per the storage capacity from our end, like we have one terabyte. Then we move to two terabyte. It keep on storage capacity, keep on increasing, increasing, extended up to like we have 100 terabyte. That means this is the increasing storage capacity. That means how we are increasing the storage capacity. So that means we need more storage. We need more storage means we need data centers. So for storage, we require more and more data centers or a data units so that we can save like this is our data center so in this data center we have a number of servers now we can store our data in these servers so we are increasing the storage capacity so as the users 
are having more activities they are saving more and more things so we need to increase the data center servers that means we need to expand the storage capacity now as per the big data mostly it deals with In big data, mostly we have three V's concept. As per these three V's, first one is volume of data. Next we have variety of data. And third one we have velocity of data. So we have three V concepts in this with the volume of data. Next we have variety of data and velocity of data. Volume is basically the storage capacity. Variety is the type of the data that we are recording. And velocity is the processing time or the processing speed. So if the very first, that means volume of data, let's discuss about this. Now in this volume of data, we have gigabyte. Gigabyte storage. Then we move to terabyte as per the storage we move to terabyte then we move to petabyte and then we have zettabyte so all of this in a volume of data as we are moving like from gigabyte we have terabyte terabyte to petabyte now we have zettabyte so all of these are related to our storage. Storage means to increase the data centers, to increase the data capacity, we are increasing our storage capacity. Like we have moved from gigabyte and now we have a zettabyte storage and combination will, will even result in more and more storage. So this is about our volume of data which we are increasing the total storage capacity and volume of data. Next we have for example let's discuss with velocity of data. Now this velocity of data, that means processing, we need processing from velocity, we call it what is the processing speed, we also call what is the processing time. So what is the velocity of data? Now to process data, for example, we need to process data from some external data center. So to process data, what we require, we need code. So why code is required? Code is required so that we can process data. For example, here is a data center. Now, in this data center, which is of capacity, for example, we have 2 terabyte. So this is a data center in which we are storing our files and the capacity is 2 terabyte. So we need to process, for example, we are processing something. So this is a code and code is of 100 KB. So this 
code is required to process this data in our data center. Now sending 100 KB to 2, 2 TB is easy process. So we can send and this computational that means this computation is totally processor bound. So computation is basically the program which runs on a data. Now this 100 KB code or a program which run on a data this process is computation and computation is basically a process bound process. Like we have discussed about RDBMS. So velocity of data mainly deals with processing speed. As per the variety of data. RDBMS. Now this RDBMS is Relational Database Management System. So RDBMS is Relational Database Management System. We call this management system as RDBMS. Now this management system RDBMS mostly deals with structured data. RDBMS deals with mostly deals with structured data. But nowadays the most of the data generated is unstructured or semi-structured. So that means if variety of data, so now we don't have only one variety, that means we don't have only structured data, we have structured data also and we require to manage this data, we require to manage unstructured as well as we require that there should be management of semi-structured data. So we have structured unstructured and semi-structured. So this is a variety of data. Now what is unstructured data? Unstructured is basically what we are saving nowadays. Audio, video, etc. So this data, audio, video data will be unstructured data. So if I compare with this semi-structure, like we have log files. Now let's understand what are these log files. For example, whenever we log in into a Gmail account or Yahoo account, so one log file is generated at that time. So if one user is logging to the various accounts at the multiple times, if I have five Gmail and five Yahoo account, that means I am logging once in a day, so I am generating 10 log files. So that are the log files. So as per the number of users, we have more number of log files that also we need to save. So log files are also generating more data on a daily basis because persons are logging into their account and they are generating more and more log files at that time. So this is a variety of data. So RDMMS has a structured data which is easy to manage in the form of numbers. But as we are moving, we have unstructured data, audio, video, pictures, and also we have semi-structured in which we have log files, etc. That means this is a variety of data we are having nowadays. With. So that's why we call it as three V's concept in which big data is dealing very first. That we have this volume of data. Then we have velocity of data and then variety of data. Now, as in a big data, we are using a concept of Hadoop. So, big data and Hadoop, we heard about this. Now, Hadoop 
basically works on a phenomena of splitting the jaw. Now, so I will write here that this basically works on a strategy of splitting a jaw. For example, I need to construct something. So I am the only worker and I need to construct something. Now in order to construct that, I need some time. For example, say I am only one person and I need to construct the building. So I need four months. So this is the time for construction of a building or house. I need four months because I am the only constructor. Splitting the job. So Hadou has a phenomena. It, why not to increase the number of, for example, workers so that this time will be reduced. Now from four, if I divide, so one month. So I am dividing my job. So this is basically the phenomena of Hadou. The Hadou is basically working on a strategy that why not to split a job. From four months, now I have one month. That means for processing, we require Hadoop because it mainly works with that how to reduce the time of the processing. Now, time taken by T's will be less and time taken by this will be more. So, to process data in less time, we have Hadoop. Right. So to process data in less time, Hadoop is generated, and this is our best solution. This is our best solution for processing. So, in today's class of Big Data, we have learned about a general introduction of a Big Data, about three Vs of Big Data, and what is this Hadoop and why it is required. We will continue with our classes in our next sessions. Thank you so much.